Hey guys, it's Carolyn. Welcome to my channel. So today I have another pick a pile reading and it's on how are you self-sabotaging yourself and I have five different charms for you guys to choose from. I have the angel, the dream catcher, the car, the heart, and the bottle cap. So take a moment, meditate, ask yourself how you're self-sabotaging yourself and then once you're drawn to one of the charms, I'm going to have the timestamps listed in the description box down below so you can jump right ahead to your reading and I'll see you there. Okay, so those of you who chose the angel charm, how do you self-sabotage? Sabotage. You got the strength card and then I clarify that with the nine of cups So basically the way that you self sabotage yourself is the fact that you don't believe in yourself You don't listen to yourself. You don't trust yourself. You rely too much on others You can be codependent with certain things you lack courage you lack strength within yourself to stand up for yourself And you feel like with the nine of cups being the clarifier you feel that you don't deserve to be happy and or that you can't be happy and that your dreams and your wishes and your satisfaction isn't important and so you go and you do everything for others and you'll always be supporting someone else but you don't actually go and do your own thing and make your own choices and get what you want and that's how you're self-sabotaging yourself because you're setting yourself up for failure when you're living your life for someone else through someone else you're never going to be satisfied with it because you're not controlling your own life then you're just letting others control your life and so sometimes you might think that you're being like a martyr and you're letting the peace keep going because you don't want to stir the pot you don't want to make anyone upset with you but really you're going to cause yourself to have future resentment down the road especially when you look back in hindsight you're gonna see all the things that you didn't do and see where you're at and see what you could have done and how you could have changed it and so that self-sabotaging is preventing you from ever truly being happy because you're getting in your way before you even start and so what I would suggest for you guys who are self-sabotaging like this ask yourself why you don't want to be happy why you feel like you can't be happy trace back the thought process of why you don't deserve to be happy and see if you can kind of retrain that to think positive affirmations so i hope this resonates for you guys if it did let me know in the comments down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with other people don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when i upload other videos like this i hope to see you guys in my next one bye okay so those of you who chose the dream catcher how do you self-sabotage so you got the hanged man and then the two of cups reversed and that's clear by the five swords reversed the way that I'm feeling that you guys have sabotaged yourselves I feel like you tend to nitpick things and you will cause yourself to find problems and things that should make you happy and that are balanced and and good and working for you and you will find ways to just look at them and pick them apart until you convince yourself that they are bad for you and then through that you cause a lot of conflict and arguments between people with the hangman you're that's talking about your perspective on things and I feel like your perspective with this since you're self-sabotaging is over analytical over analyzing things to the point that you pick them apart and you will find the worst in anything you will always find some way to be like no this is not good because you're not allowing yourself to truly be happy because you want to find the flaws. You want to find the issues so that you can pick them apart so you can justify your reasons for sabotaging your relationships and these opportunities that are coming your way. Um, with the Five of Swords, that's kind of like you want a reason to argue with people. You want to nitpick so that you can justify your reasons, so that you can go and you can start arguments. And, and then it creates this drama-filled environment where then you use it to justify everything that you do and be able to back up your perspective. So I feel like you will create a mountain out of a molehill. And that is how you self-sabotage because one, people see that and they don't necessarily like that. And two, you can't ever be happy because the moment your brain is free it's thinking of ways on how to disrupt your happiness so what I would say with that is when you catch yourself over analyzing it and nitpicking things stop yourself ask yourself and ask other people too if you can't just trust your own judgment but see if you're actually like if you actually have reason and merit behind what you're thinking or if you're just looking too much into it now and now you're crossing the line where you're purposely sabotaging yourself and just be mindful of that as you continue on through life. So I hope that this resonates with you guys. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with other people. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I upload other videos. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.
Okay, so those of you who chose the card charm, how are you self-sabotaging yourself? You have the Judgment card, Knight of Swords, and the King of Pentacles reversed. So with the Knight of Swords, that's about moving forward with logic, making plans, knowing where you're going, calculating things, and then the King of Pentacles is about being having this abundance and being surrounded by it. And since he's reversed, it's like he's lost that. I feel like you, the way that you self-sabotage yourself, I feel like it's focused on your career. Like you're doing something that's the logical career because you're afraid of other people's judgments if you were to do another career. But you're you're losing the satisfaction of what you actually want to do. I feel like the passion isn't behind it. It's just the logical part of you, which is like, okay, I need to do this because I told people I would do it and this is the plan and everyone has this plan for me and I can't let them down. But really, you're self-sabotaging yourself because using that judgment, you're not following what is true to you. And I feel like you either have a talent or you had some sort of idea for another career that would actually make you happier. And right now you're doing it where everyone's telling you it's strategic, but besides that, there's nothing else left to it. There's nothing, you don't have the passion for it. You don't, I feel like there's something that you would exceed more in because the passion would be there with it. And I feel like, see how the judgment card, how it's like she has this ballerina in her that's just wanting to escape. And that's just your inner soul being like, you want to be creative, you want to do this, but you're not being allowed to do it. And so that's where you're going to end up in the long run, self-sabotaging yourself because that abundance isn't going to mean anything. It's not going to hold any merit because there won't be any other sort of substance left with it. So what I would say is start listening to what you want to do and not fear in the judgment from other people and trying, even if you just have to take baby steps, just start to acknowledge why you're doing the things you're doing and see if you would do it if it wasn't for the judgment of other people or if you would actually be wanting to do something else but you've let other people hold you back from it. So I hope this resonates. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. If you like this video, please share it and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I upload other videos like this. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, so those of you who chose the gold heart charm, so you got the king of cups for how you self-sabotage yourself and then to clarify that, I pulled the five of wands and the ace of wands. So I feel the way that you guys self-sabotage yourself is through your emotions. I feel like you guys, you let your emotions get the best of you and they're very um, you're very passionate with things and I feel like you're someone who you don't have great control over your emotions and so you're going to get very you're quick to get angry with situations and with people and I feel like you're very um, short-sighted with things where you will hold on to grudges and conflict and you will say something that sounds harsh to someone without even realizing that I feel like you don't know what you're on in your off switch is and then once your button gets pushed you go full force and you let your anger get the best of you. I feel like you're very um, passionate, but not always in the best way. And so the way that you self-sabotage is that you will use your, whatever you're feeling will just come out and you have no filter and you have no way to navigate that. And I feel like you also have a hard time within yourself realizing what people meant to do intentionally and what they meant to do and it just was an accident. Because the King of Cups typically is talking about figuring out that balance where you're still calm and peaceful because you're keeping all your emotions in check. And since you're self-sabotaging with that, I feel you don't know when to keep yourself in check. And so what I would suggest for you guys to start working on not sabotaging yourself is take a moment moment before you react to something and reflect on it and really see if you're overreacting or not. So I hope that this resonates for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I upload other videos like this. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye. Okay, so those of you who chose the battle cap for how do you self-sabotage yourselves, you got the Ace of Swords, which is clarified by the Seven of Cups. So I feel with the Ace of Swords that you self-sabotage yourselves by your mind. You're very mental with things and um, because that's clarified by the seven of cups I feel like you self-sabotage yourselves in the fact that you don't let yourself dream you make yourself stick with what is strategic um, what sounds logical what is very rational what is very stable and you don't let your mind wander you don't let yourself dream you don't branch out I feel like when you find something that works you stick with it and I feel like you just stay in your box and kind of build a bubble around yourself I feel 
Another way you sabotage yourself is that you don't even entertain other ideas and opportunities. I feel like you just stick with what works and you don't get out of your own comfort zone. And in a way you're doing a disservice to yourself because you're not enjoying everything out of life. You're not seeing all there is and making a decision on what fits you best. You're just sticking with what you've already seen and you're just kind of staying in this one lane. So what I would recommend to start getting out of this breaking this pattern so that you're not self-sabotaging yourself, that you're experiencing everything, entertain some of your ideas, entertain some dreams, entertain just doing things for fun. Find a way to get out of your comfort zone. Don't do the things you typically do. Break your routine. Break your cycles that you're in. Really get to play around with yourself and allow yourself to have fun and not have to have everything lead up to something and be and have a purpose for things. That things can just be because you want to change it up. So I hope this resonates for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I upload other videos like this. I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye!